Hi and welcome to the Prumi Hemo YouTube channel. In this video, I'd like to answer the question that I'm asked very frequently in my Kumi Hemo workshops and also on my uh, Facebook group, and that is, where am I? Which chord am I going to use next? So what I've got here is my disc set up with round braid, which is the basic braid that you learn first on the round kumihimo disc, also known as Congo Gumi. Now, the first way that you're most likely to be advised to work out where you are is the three chord method. Now, remember that some people work first top down, bottom up, and other people work bottom up, top down. Now those come to exactly the same thing. So if you're a top down person, you would do this. You'd put that chord in there and then you know when you pick up your disc again, you've performed one of the, the moves and so you know that this is your next move, bottom up. And the opposite is true if you work the other way. So if you would normally work um, with your bottom chord first, you just pop that there put your disc down and then you know when you come back to it you've got three chords at the top one at the bottom so you know this is the next one and that is a great way but it's not the only way some people uh, use this method so they would just take so I'm just again using the example of top down uh, so once they've finished braiding so they know which the next chord is they just tuck this chord into the next slot like that okay so when they come back they know that that's the next chord to use. And those ways are really great to work out where you are, but they don't really help you understand the braid. And so that's what I'd like to do here. So what I have done is I've set up my disc uh, with different colored chords. So if re you remember, we work always with diagonally opposite chords, top right down, bottom left up, um, or vice versa. So I've got the same color in those diagonally opposite slots. Now what we're going to do is look very closely at this central point. This is what we call the point of braiding, the point where the braid actually forms. And what you're looking for first of all is to see which chords were moved last. Now if you look very closely you will see that these blue chords are on top of all the others. No other chord goes over those blue chords. So I know those were the last chords that I moved. So that means that these are my next chords to be moved. Top right and bottom left. So that is one way. The other way is again looking very closely at that point of braiding and the chords radiating out from it. If you look at these top chords, you'll see that they're not parallel, they're drawn together and they form a sort of V shape. And we see the same at the bottom, we see a V shape. But if we look at these chords here, they're much more parallel and they form more of a U shape, both top and bottom. So that is another way of identifying which chord is which. And all you need to remember is that the very next chord to be moved is in the V. I know it's not a great mnemonic, but it does work. So the very next chord to be moved is the V. And therefore, that would be your top right and bottom left. So that's just a quick roundup of identifying what's going on with your braid. And I would urge you to start using this method, one of those two methods, to identify where you are and what which chord is going to be moved next, because it gives you a much greater understanding of how the braid works and will result in improved braiding. Uh, but having said that, all those methods work. So keep braiding and keep safe. And if you want more tips like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you've liked this, please put a like, maybe a comment. Perhaps you've got some better ideas and I'd love to see your comments uh, below in the comments section. And until next time, goodbye.